Potter's Journal. Okay, the Spanish Batillo, the spouted jugs. What was I thinking? This is not the time of year I have time to um, put a lot of time into things. Um, these require a jug, a body, a spout and actually two spouts and a handle so I wrapped them up really well and um, today yeah they're still in fine enough condition to get uh, them put together um, hmm. I do a lot of these things um, here's the one from the studio escape last summer um, that uh, is from 1990 something that I still have a long way to build up to the skill level there again but um, yeah we're starting small and working up okay I take the spout and I carve a, yeah at a bevel the inside out um, so that it fits right onto the um, body of the jug that and then I take the other spout and do the exact same thing yeah I've always done a lot of these spouted jugs um, I uh, was thinking maybe make some a little smaller and um, have them at another price point. Um, they turned out a little bit larger than I expected. Okay, so let's see, get the placement on them. And we'll put a line so I know where it's at. And I'll attach the small spout first because I can reach in the large one's opening to smooth it out on the inside and the large one I'll be able to reach into and let's see there's a way I do the opening too you know what I cut it at a bevel as well um, with the angle going in like that and I just heard the air escape um, it would be nice to put easier to put these on without and then cut them open later um, a lot of um, teapots I noticed some um, well there it doesn't matter okay and here I don't want that to drop in so I'm gonna and then I'll have trouble getting it out to grab it with the needle Move that. Um, and give it a score. Slip. Okay, and the same up here. And it's already made the shape um, and form both inside and out to fit on here very nicely um, so yeah that's part of the idea part of the plan um, it attaches smooth and even and it also helps uh, makes it blend in with the form that's there um, I uh, hmm I don't know if I put a little bit of a coil around there or not. Um, it's been a while since, yeah, I've done any of these. OK. 
Okay, yeah, so a little teeny coil to give it a really smooth transition from the spout to the body of the pot. Okay. And we will get the phone. Okay, we'll get the phone and more important, yeah, get Ralph back in here. Okay. And the other spout. Okay, so yeah, the same thing. That bevel. And this time I did drop it inside, just what I said not to do. Okay, and now is when I can reach in and um, in the real world when these things were used they were not smoothed off on the inside and they weren't clean and now when we just put them on a shelf and admire them um, we get it nice and smooth and clean and if you can't reach in sometimes uh, yeah ceramic talk to help and yeah, I've always been interested in um, folk pottery, historic pieces. Um, in a couple weeks here, I'll be working with the Southside Historic Village. I'm going to make pots there for a week when they're open. During a fair, the village is located on the edge of a fairgrounds in Hookstown, PA. Um, and I have a fairly aggressive, actually, yeah, fairly aggressive plan this year. Let's see, Potter's Journal. Um, the first to get some things I have to make done. I want to make a hundred pots, um, garlic jars, but then things that are um, related to log cabin era. Some candle holders, um, 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 pie plates, and I actually hope we have a bread oven there. Um, I hope to make a pie um, in one of my pie plates and put it in the um, wood fire oven at the village. So that'll be fun. Um, yeah, they, uh, people at the bread oven always seem to be having too much fun and Hmm. I'm usually spending the week working and in the blacksmith shop right next to me they're usually working away um, in the heat of summer okay and yeah um, these were yeah cut to as I said the first one with the first spout to fit right on here and it's probably good they did sit and stiffen up a bit um, otherwise yeah, we might be pushing in the side of the pot. Okay, and that coil thing worked on the first side. So what's this to the village? There's I'm not um, I wasn't around when they were bringing in all the buildings. There's a log cabin, school, um, doctor's office, a store, um, old buildings that were going to be torn down and saved, a log cabin, a barn, foundry, forge. Okay, and I like when this just curves right into the side of the pot. Um, 
Oh, yeah. I guess they all do that. They're mine. Well, this one bulges out a bit there. Um, I like the, yeah, nice flowing, smooth curve. And, um, yeah, maybe rather than the rib. Um, the handle of the fettling knife can help do that. Sometimes I'd say I could come back and do this a little better later, but since I have to put a handle up here, um, this needs to be, yeah, done now. And I guess maybe a sponge. Um, I've been watching Simon Leach from the beginning. And um, in Spain, and he visited a Spanish potter who put one of these together in no time at all that was quite a bit bigger, too. Okay, yeah, just what we want. All right. <laughs> I didn't know if this was going to work out. Um, because I've mostly done the uh, spouted... Um, yeah, jugs are without the two and the handle. Okay, a handle. Let's see if we can get one of those on now. Um, yeah, I think, um, yeah, this is not a summer project. Most of my studio time is in the winter. Uh, when I filled my bucket of water up today, I nearly put warm water in it. I'm not thinking that, uh, yeah, it's summer, I don't need it. Um, so probably, yeah, if I'm going to do any throwing in the summer, I should pick uh, Simple Easy. Um, the, you can put, uh, since I have limited time, a lot of pieces out in a short time, and that way you feel some satisfaction in that you got something done. But, you know, this maybe isn't too bad either, because although it's taking a lot of time, I'm going to have the same satisfaction, even though I have limited time here and there's only going to be a handful of these made. Okay, so I am making this wider on the edges and thinner in the middle so that the part attaches yeah, it has some bulk to it. And I put the ridge down through the center. And let's see. I don't know how big to make this. I guess it can always be cut shorter. Can always make it larger. Okay, and I am gonna. I'm putting the bevel out like that, and then I'm gonna roll them in like this, and the bevel is out like that, so that and it looks like this is about the right size, so that I can lay it down on there like that. Whoa. Um. Yeah. And once again, like the spouts. It just touches right on there and attaches um, almost like magic on its own without me having to do anything. Um, hmm. So, I, uh, my grandmother was an artist as well. She did painting and sewed all her own clothes. Um, I wonder if they make patterns at, uh, and that you can pick up at the fabric store on just exactly how to cut this stuff and put it together. Um, okay, that would be a novelty. Okay, I... This is not the way I usually do handles. I usually really push them in there a bit more. So, I am worried about how it's going to attach. But, um... Yeah, this one was actually, wow, this one was, you know, barely anything done to it to get it to stay on there. It was um, just barely pushed, but um, this is probably a potter who made a gazillion of these a day and put them together 
in no time at all. So, but I always really like the the um, free loose look in the way that handle's put together. So maybe that's what I need to do: sit down and not make a handful in a day, but uh, make yeah. Um, 20 of them in a day. Okay, so this is certainly going to be attached well on the inside. On the outside, I do have concerns. I'm going to make a little teeny baby coil. Okay, little teeny baby coil. Everything here is relatively the same consistency, so I think we're okay. It may be a while though before I've got time to fire these and find out. Um, the summer, I sometimes do a sculpture series. We'll see if that happens, or maybe some garden pottery. Um, okay, so then the sponge again, and yeah, smooth that out and put a dent in the spout, not intentionally. Okay. So apparently I can't be as loose and free as <laughs> um, yeah, the potter who put that together. And sometimes the handle when you're working with it gets bumps and dents in it. So I just wet my fingers and go over it like that on both sides. This time it actually didn't and then it can also be changed and rounded like that but it actually looks fine. So um, yeah, <laughs> all right. The um, Spanish Botijo. Uh, stop back and uh, see what we can do in the studio this summer. I uh, might have a young apprentice working with me and the Southside Historic Village stopped back.